Hey guys, it's Ollie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I have some really exciting news. On Instagram, I actually entered a giveaway. It was like a blind giveaway. I didn't know what I would be winning from Roche Exotics. I will have them linked in the description below if you want to go check them out. They have some amazing isopods, millipedes, all of that kind of stuff. Highly, highly recommend. Also, I'm really sorry if my voice isn't quite with it today. I just got off of work. I won some Cubaris Species Rubber Ducky Isopods. They are blonde rubber ducky, which I'm really excited about because those are my absolute favorite. I like them more than the regular rubber ducky. And I won a 10 count. I don't know if you guys are isopod people. I'm definitely an isopod person, but rubber duckies are typically a very expensive and very sought after species. So I never thought that I would have this species. So I won that giveaway. I won the 10 count. Super, super excited. They were amazing with their shipping. They were awesome with everything like that. Um, but we had a winter storm, so it was very worrisome that it wasn't the overnight delivery like it was supposed to be. This is no fault to Roche Exotics at all. They were amazing during all of this, keeping me updated and all of that but there's not anything you can do. I had it to be held at the post office, delayed probably because of the winter storm. Um, and then I had issues with my local post office with actually getting it. It was an address issue on my end, not on Roche Exotics end. It was on my end and on my post office's end. The rubber duckies are okay. I did check them as soon as I picked them up today. So let's go ahead and unbox my new blonde rubber ducky isopods. All right, so we have it here. Um, I Like I said, I did open this to check on it, especially because it was delayed. Um, so let's take a look. I put everything back like as much like it was as I could. So first off, they were super sweet and sent this limestone, which if you didn't know is super, super important for rubber duckies. So I will be putting that in their little enclosure right after this. They also sent a sticker, and you guys know that I am obsessed with stickers, so we will find a spot for that. And then, like I said, they had wonderful packaging. There they are. It's so cr I never thought I would have this species. I just never thought that I would be able to get them. And they're even the blonde variety, which is my favorite favorite. I hope that focuses. Now let's look at the rest of their packaging just so I can show you guys how amazing this was. So they also have this which is really really good shipping stuff. I don't know if you guys know Redline. They are amazing for shipping reptiles and stuff like that and I just love the amount of care that these guys took into making sure that the isopods stay warm in the winter environment. So, and then they also had this one down here. I really don't know if these guys would have made it in the mail with that delay snowstorm if they did not package this uh, like they did. So super amazing. I'm going to go finish up their enclosure and place these guys in. For their bin, I just use a really simple and kind of small like plastic container. I did also drill the holes in and I put some screen over top with hot glue. If you are a child and you do this, please, please, please make sure that you have some kind of adult supervision. I did put some pebbles at the bottom um, just because I am planning on making this slightly bioactive. I just have to get a couple more things in the mail that I'm waiting on. The substrate I used is mostly organic topsoil. I did not sift out the sticks or anything like that in there. I also put in some aspen chips as well as some of my own live compost. This will have some really, really good nutrition and worm castings in it as well as some really healthy springtails. I do plan on adding moss, but I do want to see if the isopods come in moss. I know a lot of people ship them that way and it would be easier to transfer them in by just placing their moss where I would be putting it normally. 
I also chunked up some rotting oak from outside my house. The area outside of my house has not been treated with any pesticides for years, so it is completely safe. I also do need some limestone, so I am also waiting for that to come in. Um, hopefully it'll beat the isopods. Also added in some of uh, magnolia seed pod to give them some more food in their environment. And I am filming this part after I have received the rubber duckies. Um, so they did come with moss and they also came with limestone. So luckily I don't have to wait at all for some limestone to come in the mail. I did also put some pieces of cuttlefish bone in the enclosure. And I finish it up with a small mist and then the sphagnum moss containing the rubber duckies. And I really hope you guys liked today's video. That's really it. I'm going to do my absolute best to leave the rubber duckies alone because I know that they don't really like intrusions, um, which is gonna be very hard for me because I really just wanna stare at their cute little faces. I am extremely new to Cubara species. So if you guys have any recommendations or any issues like with my setup, please, please, please let me know. So as always, like this video for the algorithm, comment down below any tips or tricks you have for Cubara species or just generally what kind of isopods you guys like. All of my links, including my Instagram account, my art Instagram account, my Facebook group, and my wife and I's Etsy will be down in the description below. So go check those out if you want to. Also make sure to go follow Roche Exotics over on um, Instagram. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you are into this kind of content or really any animal kind of content. I upload every single Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but you can hit the bell if you don't want to remember that. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.